Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 9, lesson 9 Multiply fractions by whole numbers. Page number is 613. Okay, guys, in this lesson, we are going to multiply a whole number with a fraction. When we are multiplying a whole number with a fraction, we just multiply the whole number with the numerator. And the denominator stays the same. 4 times 1 equals 4 over 6. The denominator stays the same. Now we will simplify it. Uh, you know how to simplify it. If you don't know guys, you can watch the video in which we took a lesson about simplification. So we will divide by 2 up and 2 down. So 4 divide 2 is 2 and 6 divide 2 is 3. So it will be 2 over 3 after simplification. Okay, on this next page now, uh, 5 times 3 over 10. You know that we just multiply with the numerator. 5 times 3 is 15. It will become 15 over 10. Here it is. <clears throat> and as you know, guys, 15 is a big number. 10 is a small number. The numerator is bigger than the denominator. So it is an improper fraction. Whenever we have an improper fraction, we change it into a mixed number. Okay, we already took a whole lesson about it, that how we are converting from improper fraction to mixed number. You can watch that video if you forgot. I will give you a quick review here, that how we are doing it. What we do, we check that how many groups of 10 we can take out of 15. How many complete 10s we can take out of 15. Only one 10 we can take out of 15. Because two 10s equals to 20. 20 is more than 15, we can't take two 10s we can take only one complete 10 out of 15. So one is the whole number. And if you take out one complete 10 from 15, the remainder is five over 10. The denominator, same. <clears throat> and then we simplify it, divide by five up, divide by five down. So it will be one whole and one over two. It's one and a half. So it means this mixed number is in between which two whole numbers? In between 1 and 2. It is more than 1 because it is 1 and a half, but it is less than 2. So this mixed number is in between 1 and 2. Similarly here guys, 5 times 1 is 5 over 8, 5 over 8. It is in between 0 and 1 because no whole. If there is no hole, so the fraction is in between 0 and 1 always. If there is a hole, then the fraction is in between the hole and the next number. Like the hole is 2, the next number is 3. So in between 2 and 3. Like this one, the hole is 1, so the next number is 2. So in between 1 and 2. So 4 times 2, 8 over 3. Again, it is improper fraction. We change it into mixed number. We check how many groups of 3 we can take out of 8. 3 times 2 is 6 and 3 times 3 is 9. We cannot take out 9 from 8. We can take out only 6. So 2 groups of 3, 2 whole. And the remainder, 2 over 3. It is in between 2 whole and the next number is 3, between 2 and 3. <clears throat> Okay, next one guys here, independent practice, solve it by yourself and then match your answers through this video. The product lies between the whole number 2 and 3, this one, this product. 2 whole and the next number is 3, so in between 2 and 3. Here, 1, the next number is 2, so 1 and 2. 3, next number is 4, so between 3 and 4. <clears throat> okay, this one now, Mario and three friends, so total four persons, each have three fourth foot of rope. So they need to have five feet of rope all together. Do they have enough? So we'll multiply 4 by 3 over 4, 4 times 3, 12 over 4. 
how many groups of four we can take out of 12? Three. And nothing remainder. So three whole, three feet, which is less than five feet. No, they will not have five feet of rope. Uh, Mr. Raymond gave each of her student half of one twelve, sorry, not half, one twelve of a box of crackers. She has 30 students. So she need how many boxes of crackers? You multiply 30 by 112, 30 over 12, and then we can take out two 12s out of 30, 6 over 12, and we will simplify it. Divide by 6 up and divide by 6 down. So it will be 2 whole, 1 over 2. So she need 2 and half boxes of crackers. Uh, cross this question guys, no need to do this and here are some, here is some explanation. I hope you guys understand the lesson. If you really understand, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel. Learn Math with Mr. Saad and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much guys. Have a nice day.